we will go through some other properties that we can use for text for this each one for example if we want to align it in the center so for that we have a property text align okay i'll select the element first which is each one then i use text align that takes one value and this value can be for example center in our case i want it to be centered the article tag it is taking 100 percent of the document and this is why it's centered like that for example if i just define the article to be 400 pixel or whatever it will just take the center of the 400 pixel but in our case it's just taking the whole page this is why we have the center like that and if i just put it in the right you'll see that it's go to the edge of the browser and i can also use left we can also add an underline for this title so for that i'll use text decoration and this text decoration so it has multiple values so the first one is overline so to put an overline as you see here we have a line above the title and we can also use endoline to add a line below the title and we can go add a line through use a line through so this is just a line so that across from left to right we have a link here and if we want to just remove the text decoration because by default this link is created by doing but by, by having this style so the color is different is also i have an indoor line if i want to remove it i'll just select the a element then add the text decoration okay text decoration and use none which means that i want to just remove it now we don't have this endo line on this links and to control the location of a specific element we have a property text transform and this property has some values let's just take an example of this paragraph i want to change the first letter to uppercase so for example this option will be so the first i here will be in an uppercase same for any word within this paragraph first i need to select the element paragraph then use text transform text transform then i'll use capitalize so this capitalize will take each first character from each word and just put it in uppercase and if i want to just use uppercase for the whole paragraph so i need to use uppercase uppercase now save that as you see here the paragraph is in uppercase and if i want to return to lowercase now every character is in lowercase if you want to just return it to its initial stage i can use none so for example if text transform is already applied on the paragraph and they want to force that so i can just use text transform none and it will return to each initial value nothing will be applied here to control the color straightforward i'll change the color of the element for the link i'll use color so we can use text color for example i can use red or hexadecimal color i can use ddd or i can use an rgb form of color rgb let's just use 2 22 22 22 save that and i can change the color by using any format i want for the last property we'll use line h which controls the space or the h between these two lines i'll just select this paragraph the whole one and i will try to control the h between these two lines by using the property line h okay let's just use line h and for the values that you can use inside the line h we have four categories pixels percentage rms and rems and for the last one you can avoid using unit at all okay let's just use values for each type of units i will use 12 pixels and if you check a look here i have 12 12 pixels which is the space between the lines and if I, I can increase it to go to 55 pixels now i have 55 pixels which is the space between the lines and i can go and use one em don't forget that this line height depends on the font size so for example if i just define font size here go to font size and use 12 pixels so this one em relates to this 12 pixels i can use for example 1.5 em and I can use let's just go now and use rem rem which is related to the html tag if you don't know exactly how to use this units you can go to the previous lesson when i explained that in details i can use a number without the unit at all which means if i want to have a 1.5 half times the size of the font size in this case i will use 1.5 save that and i will have 1.5 the size of the 12 pixels as a, as a space between these two lines if i increase 60 pixels 16 pixels and you will have that and if i want it for example three times i will use three and now i have three times the space which is related to this font size 16 pixels 